Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the base of Mount Wrightson, the ninth highest peak here in Arizona. I'm about an hour outside of Tucson, Arizona, but it feels like a different world up here. It's 40 degrees, and as you can see, there's snow on the mountain behind me, so I anticipate I'm going to be hiking through some snow here today. The drive up here, though, was awesome doesn't even feel like you're in arizona anymore but this is a monster hike that i'm going to be taking on today 11 and a half to 12 ish miles the longest i've done by far so the legs are feeling good i'm going to bring this to you like a normal hiking video we'll take some stops in between give you some updates but yeah the trailhead is behind me let's get it going Just starting to break the tree line up here at about mile five, so you can see the views. Pretty incredible. It's getting pretty chilly as well, but as you can see, it feels like I'm almost in Montana or Colorado. It doesn't remotely feel like I'm in Arizona. Now, one thing I'll add is this hike is super easy to follow. There's a lot of signs along the trail and the path is really clear, so it's kind of hard to get lost, which is nice. And yet again, I'm one of the only ones on this trail so just goes to show if you branch out a little bit get off the beaten path you can escape from all the crowds and really get to these remote areas and enjoy the peace and quiet okay so we're on to the switchbacks which means we're almost to the summit so one final push let's get to the top Okay, after about three hours of climbing, we have made it to the summit of Mount Wrightson. These views, no question, are the best I've seen thus far in Arizona. I mean, you can't beat this. I think you can see into Mexico as well. See all of Tucson. Well worth the six and a half mile climb to the top. This is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna chill up here for a little soak up these views and enjoy all that this is and all the beauty in it. Getting up here wasn't as hard as I anticipated it being. I thought it would be a lot steeper. It was lengthy, but overall, if you just take your time with it, you shouldn't have any issues. Just make sure to start early in the morning. That way you give yourself enough time to get up and back down in the same day since it is a very lengthy hike. All right, just finishing up my break and snack at the top. I just can't get over these views. <laughs> They're just incredible. But definitely make sure to pack a windbreaker when you're up here. It gets pretty windy and chilly, so just keep that in mind. So now I gotta start my six and a half mile trek back down to the car, but it should be a lot easier as it's all downhill. So on we go, back to the car.
made it. Now that was a hike. 12.3 miles in five hours and 39 minutes. Longest hike I've ever done and it's not even close, but man, that was an insane hike. So cool up there. The hike was amazing all the way through, all 12 miles of it. Um, the summit was unreal, 9,300 feet of elevation up there. Elevation gain was about 4,000 feet total. So my legs are feeling it. So I'm gonna go back into Tucson to get something to eat. I deserve it after that one. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thoroughly enjoy doing these types of videos, the hiking ones. So now next week we'll be doing a, a little bit of a different one. We'll do a Tucson Mexican food tour. So it's gonna be kind of a funny video, but stay tuned for that one. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.